Okay, here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2, Episode 3 now. And yeah, last episode, Yelena had a pretty creepy face, a weird face, not necessarily creepy, but weird. And yeah, Armin, Mikasa and the others decided to help Eren now, uh, while Eren is on his way to Zeke. And I guess Reiner might attack him now, um, because obviously they don't want to... They don't want Aaron and Zeke to get close to each other. And Zeke is out for the count right now. He's at least like shot down and is probably not able to move much. So we will, we will see how that turns out. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Yeah, this episode we start without the intro because the intro was uh, the beginning. <laughs> so yeah, we skipped that part. Okay, here again with Zeke getting shot down. I guess Reiner will attack now, right? <clears throat> I think it's, I think Reiner is behind him and ready to go somewhat. Oh no, Galiad is also around. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah. Oh. Was that? Yep. They're still ready to go. Holy shit. Oh! Holy shit. Oh my god, everywhere. <laughs> So I'm wondering, are no normal people in these buildings? Is this whole area maybe evacuated already? Oh boy. Dude, the OST. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Yelene. I, it's hard to tell sometimes the difference between Armin and Yelene. They both look uh, pretty similar, right? Haircut-wise and all that stuff. Yes, you did. <laughs> Dude, that missed him. Only by an inch. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Reiner is on top of him right now. <clears throat> I don't think he's ready to go right now. I think he's down a bit. How? Oh, now he sees that? Poco sees that now? <clears throat> but how can they make... How can they see that? Like, it's, it's like... It's as if they touched the Founding Titan and Royal Blood or something? Uh-oh. Falco! Does Z care? I guess he does care. Sit back and die. Dude, his scream range is f 
far. <clears throat> Is he like, I have to do it anyways? But... <laughs> oh yep <clears throat> for the greater good but I guess Falco is fine Okay, he's not fun. I mean, Aaron tried to stop him, right? Gabi can't hold that against him. Aaron has nothing to do with this this time. Oh my god. So many titans. Get the anti anti titan, yeah. I guess you are fucked now. <laughs> and here we go with this OST again. Oh my god, here we go again. With it's basically back to season one again. Basically, <clears throat> just dude, he is a long boy with a long neck. Wait, was that Falco? Is this Falco? Oh my god! He sends Falco to kill Reiner, so Reiner has to make the decision to kill him or not. Oh my god, that's so dirty. <sighs> he has to hold both, both down. My God, oh my God, he's numbing his nap. I would say that was a direct hit. Unless Zeke is gotten out somehow. Already, maybe? Oh, Aaron is pissed! Oh, who? Oh, Armin! And Mikasa! Oh. Not yet! I guess Zeke got out. Because does a Titan dissolve like that if... If... He got killed? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah! Oh, really? Is Reiner sacrificing himself here? I guess Falco has other plans? Oh... Is Galliard gonna die like this?
was Galiat. I guess he's sacrificing himself now. <sighs> Couldn't Galia just recover from this? Oh, and he's pissed. Oh, what the hell? Got you, bitch. <laughs> And here he goes. <clears throat> he made it out in time. Like this, Aaron looks like Gabi a bit. <laughs> when he's running with long hair like this. Oh my god, here they go. Are they touching each other? Gabi. Oh, she shoots him! Oh, with the big rifle! Where did you get this one from? What? Oh! Can he, re can he recover from this? <laughs> uh, I... I mean, he has to, right? I, I, I don't think. I mean, yeah, he has to, right? I mean, eh, spoiler, he's later does the rumbling. I mean, even if I wouldn't know about the rumbling, I would think that he could recover from this somehow. Because, why have Aaron around when he just dies at the end like this, right? <clears throat> what if he gets put into like a body, in a, into a titan like Zeke and recovers from that and absorbs basically the titan? Maybe that works for Aaron too. And this is just like a flashback what we had a few episodes ago oh boy <clears throat> yeah and i guess reiner is kind of pissed right because he just wants to die right he was ready to give his life so that falco can turn into the armor titan I mean, I guess, I mean, did Reiner maybe change his mind if he wants to die or not? Before in Male, he just wanted to die. But right now, he seems more determined again. But maybe just to make peace, right? <clears throat> right? <clears throat> like, rescue Gabi and Falco, and then give someone the armor titan. After everything is over, I guess that was maybe his plan. I guess Reiner is still like... A bit depressed and wants maybe to die. What was that about? With the reflexes? <laughs> Oh my god, the shot. <clears throat> Dude, this is some amazing shots here. <coughs> there goes the head. She's bleeding too. Maybe... The knockback of the gun hit her. Oh, they touch. It's still enough. I guess because he's still conscious.
<laughs> what was that one shot? Looks like they were in a sauna. Is that the word? Or oh, is this a girl that molded Zeke's body? Body. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it's the same location, I guess. Oh, the coordinate. Why is he chained down? Regenerate and wake up from the shot. But it feels like an instant. Time flows differently. Oh, and that's why. He So Z came in clutch basically. Yeah, the girl. Oh, that's Ymir. <clears throat> so we don't know, we just assume. <laughs> So you give the order. Is Aaron going through with it? <laughs> yeah, why? Oh, only the founding titan is free here. I guess that makes sense. Will he? Will he do it? Uh oh. It was never my plan. <laughs> Here he goes. Oh my god. Zeke is destroyed. So what is his plan? What does he want to do? Give us the ultimate power to destroy everyone. <laughs> Can he change the bodies that they're like super resistant? Aaron is like, things will stop once I'm done. <laughs> D nope. <laughs> Maybe because he's not royal? Maybe because he doesn't have royal blood.
He nullified it. What? Okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Somewhat. So he's also the founder now, basically? So Aaron is fucked now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But man, this is like crazy. Like from the fight scene at the beginning, which kind of reminded me of um season one, right when the Titans get into the walls and start killing everyone. It was pretty similar, just that Melanes are now in the mix, right? Um, and then Reiner wanted to give up his life because Falco turned into a titan. And I mean, Reiner was already ready to kill himself, right? Uh, I don't know if he is on the same wavelength right now, that he's like, okay, I just want to die. Or if he's maybe a bit more determined. But maybe that's just because he wanted to save Gabi and Falco, right? And that's why he came here and had the resolve to fight again. So maybe he was at the point again where he's like, okay, I just want to die. And Falco can do it. And in the same breath, I can save him. And then Galliard came around and sacrificed himself, basically. Which makes me think. He said he can't recover from that or he will die or whatever. Something to that extent. <clears throat> Can't? Couldn't he recover from this? It didn't look like he was fatally wounded. He had like a bit damage on his eyes and probably some other body parts. But I mean, Titans can recover from that, right? I mean, Aaron's got his limbs chopped, uh, chopped off and all that shit and he's fine every time. I guess the only fatal thing we saw so far was that his head got shot off in this episode. And that's where it's like before you died we could, i could touch you and then we connected and because of that they could rebuild again or Aaron could rebuild again <clears throat> but otherwise i guess this would have been fatal if the head is gone from the body um but yeah now galliard is dead so falco becomes the jaw titan gabi almost killed Aaron, and now they are here in the coordination coordinate um where we see Ymir and it turns out as long as you have royal blood and you are in this realm, basically, you are basically a founding titan. If you're Eldian, obviously, because only Eldians can go there, right? But yeah, everyone with the royal blood is basically considered, uh, right, being like a founding titan, being having like the power to command Ymir. Um, so Aaron having the founding titan basically is kind of pointless right now, I guess. Is it? I mean, Aaron has to touch royal blood to activate it. And I mean, if he's not of royal blood and that's why Ymir in the coordinate isn't taking taking his commands, then yeah, having the founding titan and touching Ymir is kind of pointless, right? All he gets basically from it is like commanding other titans, which... Z can do just fine by himself if he made the Titans with a spinal flute, basically. Um, and otherwise, I guess, commanding Titans or not commanding Titans is, for the most part, not important. But yeah, now he can control Ymir, basically, because he is royal blood and in the coordinate. And it, is, it, it doesn't even need the founding Titan to get into the coordinate, right? So, yeah, why have the Founding Titan in the first place? Um, hmm. Very interesting, this twist, that you can get in there 
without the founding titan and as long as you are royal blood you can command ymir and are basically a founding titan i guess we will see how that turns out but yeah now zeke wants to brainwash Aaron, basically it seems like and i guess Aaron will not allow that <laughs> i guess he will struggle against it and i guess yeah zeke will not succeed i would guess but we will see but yeah awesome episode dude like so much shit is going on <laughs> oh boy <sighs> this is getting crazy but hey uh, we now know that Aaron was never going along with zeke's plan it was always just going along i guess to have zeke support and to like help his own plan Aaron's own plan um so it was just like using zeke to get what he wants but we still don't know what is Aaron's plan right he wants ymir's power does he just want her power to be more powerful or to basically not rely on royal blood anymore or did he want ymir's power for something else right like i said in the episode can since aliens can like change the bodies of uh since the founding titan and royal blood and ymir and all that stuff can change the blueprint basically of aliens so that they don't give birth or that they can survive some weird illness can they make their body super resistant to the point where they can't be killed from like bullets and stuff that would be interesting i don't think so right i think that would be a bit too overpowered because that would be my guess like hey let's do this and then just become unkillable basically like super resilient like you can't be killed by bullets blades or anything else cannon shots no problem you still you survive that <laughs> and then you just don't have to worry about anything right um but yeah like i said i think that would be a bit too overpowered <clears throat> but something i had in mind for a long time and i don't know if i ever mentioned that i might have not mentioned it anywhere else so far in my videos um if zeke and Aaron touched and they would have gone through with the plan to make it so that aliens can't bear any new children right if that would have if Aaron would have gone through with that plan um Aaron has to give up the titan at some point right because he's dying so they have to give it to someone that has royal blood right um or not maybe i mean one titan goes maybe to uh historia so because she has royal blood so maybe the founding titan or zeke's titan and then someone else takes the founding titan if historia takes zeke's titan um so that they can be still the threat that they can command all that stuff and do the rumbling that's the whole plan right but couldn't if they give it to someone else couldn't the next generation basically couldn't they just reverse that and be like okay let's make it so that aliens can give birth again right i i think that should be possible right that they can just like undo it so the whole plan is kind of pointless because the next generation once Aaron and zeke are dead which is not taking long since they're almost done with their titan life um they can just undo it i guess so or maybe the stuff that is done to aliens from Ymir, maybe that is not reversible, so it stays that way. Um, that would be a, a good fail safe, right? <laughs> Otherwise, they could just undo it and it would be no problem, right? Um, but yeah, interesting episode. Can't wait for the next episode. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. And thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.